In this lesson, we will look at the different types of measurement errors. And it is explained what repeatability and reproducibility have to do with the variability of measured values. And hello again to this lesson, which essentially has three learning objectives. At the end, you should know what a systematic error and what a random error is. You should further understand what repeatability and reproducibility is, or short R and R. And finally, you should know what is meant by stability and linearity. This lesson is divided into three chapters. In the first chapter, we look at what a systematic and a random measurement error is. The terms repeatability and reproducibility will be explained in the second chapter. And the last one is about the stability and linearity of measuring instruments. Let's start with the systematic and random measurement errors. To explain the systematic and random measurement error, we consider the measurement results of two measuring instruments. Measuring instrument A and measuring instrument B. The measurement error is to be determined for both. The test characteristic on which the measurement error is to be determined should be the diameter of this piston. Its nominal diameter is 60.1 mm. In order to be able to determine a measurement error of a measuring instrument, the measured dimension must be compared with the reference value. Such reference value is obtained, for example, by measuring the product characteristic with another, much more precise measuring instrument. For example, accurate to a thousandth of a millimeter, whereas the measuring instruments A and B may only measure to an accuracy of two hundredths. In our example, the diameter was measured to a thousandth of a millimeter. The result is a diameter of 60.100 mm. This will be our reference value, XM, with which we will compare the measurement results from measuring instrument A and B. With the measuring instrument A, the same diameter was measured multiple times. The result was the distribution of the measured values shown here. The distribution has two important characteristics. First, the mean xg bar. As can be seen, this deviates from the reference value xm and secondly, the spread of the measured values around this mean value. Not further named or specified here yet. Then the same diameter was also measured repeatedly with the measuring instrument B. This time the result was the distribution of the measured values shown on the right. Here too, the mean value xg bar deviates from the reference value xm. But in contrast to measuring instrument A, the distribution of values for measuring instrument B is significantly smaller. So if the mean value of the measurements can deviate from the reference value and the distribution can differ, then we have already gained the knowledge that measured values can vary in position of the mean and distribution. Now the very important term precision comes into play. Precision is the degree to which results of repeated measurements deviate from each other. This means that with a measuring instrument with low precision, the values spread widely. And with a measuring instrument with higher precision, the values spread only slightly. So, having just laid the foundations, we now come to the actual objective of this chapter, namely the systematic 
and random error of measured values. As a quick reminder, the reference value xm is the true value of the part to be measured. This would theoretically be obtained with an ideal measuring instrument. However, since there is no ideal measurement in practice, the true value is determined with highly accurate measuring systems in a test lab or calibration room. Then there is the mean xg bar of the measured values of the measuring instrument for which the measurement error is to be determined. This mean results from the repeated measurement of the same characteristic with the same measuring instrument for which the measurement error is to be determined. As shown in the image on the right, the systematic error is now simply the difference between the reference value xm and the mean value xg bar. The systematic error therefore refers to the mean value of the entire measurement results. The random measurement error, on the other hand, only refers to a single measured value. The random measurement error is the difference between the mean value xg bar of all measured values and that of a single measured value. The term precision has just been explained a bit. This chapter explains repeatability and reproducibility which are closely related to precision. To briefly repeat, precision is the degree to which results differ from each other from repeated measurements. This means that with a measuring instrument with low precision, the values spread widely. And with a measuring instrument with higher precision, the values spread only slightly. The measurement results of measuring instrument B, shown here, clearly show that measuring instrument B measures more precisely than measuring instrument A, whose spread is greater. XG bar is the average of all measured values determined with the same measuring instrument on the same product characteristic. As already discussed in the topic of systematic and random measurement errors, it is the random errors in the individual measurements that lead to this distribution of all measured values. Assuming that these values are normally distributed, the standard deviation is a measure of the amount of spread. So again, precision refers to the spread of the values and the standard deviation is the calculated amount of that spread. For repeatability, the following can be summarized. Repeatability refers to measurements made with the same measuring instrument repeated several times by the same person. All other conditions remain unchanged. So it is only the measuring instrument that has an influence on the spread of the measurement results. The result is a statement about the potential of the measuring instrument or the ability to produce the same measurement results. Comparable to CM, which is known from machine capability. This skill is often abbreviated to EV for equipment variation. Variance is a measure of the deviation from the mean. Now we come from the repeatability to reproducibility. The repeatability refer to measurements with the same measuring instrument repeated several times by the same person. The reproducibility refers to measurements with the same measuring instrument repeated several times, but now it comes, carried out by different appraisers. The environmental conditions do not have to be kept constant. As shown again graphically on the right hand side, the measuring instrument and the product characteristic of the test object always remain the same for the repeatability 
and the reproducibility. Only in the case of the reproducibility does the appraiser change and maybe also the environmental conditions. In other words, repeatability assesses whether the same operator can measure the same characteristic multiple times with the same measuring instrument and produce the same value. Reproducibility, on the other hand, evaluates whether different appraisers can measure the same characteristic with the same measuring instrument and produce the same results. So, if the influence of the measuring instrument on the measurement results remains the same, then differences in the measurement results are only caused by the appraiser. With three different appraisers, the distribution of the values would differ both in their position and in their spread. These three distributions of the measured values can be merged into a combined distribution. We can therefore summarize the following findings for this chapter. The repeatability and the reproducibility refer to measurements with the same measuring instrument repeated several times. For the repeatability, the measurements are carried out by the same appraiser. In the case of reproducibility, the measurements are carried out by different appraisers. The result of the reproducibility is a statement about the extent to which the measurement results approximate each other when the measurement conditions change. This capability is often abbreviated to AV for appraiser variation. Variance is the already discussed degree of the deviation from the mean. When we were just talking about the spread of the measured values, the mean value xg bar of the underlying measured values was often used. In this chapter, we take a closer look at how this mean can change. Stability and linearity are the two important properties we are looking at here. Let's begin with a very brief repetition of the term's reference value xm and mean value xg, since both are important in order to explain stability and linearity. The reference value xm is the true value of a product characteristic that would be obtained with an ideal measuring instrument. The mean xg bar is calculated from the measured values of the measuring instrument for which one want to determine the measurement uncertainty. The measured values for this were all taken within a narrowly limited time window. Stability is about assessing how the measurement results change over time. When considering stability, the measuring system, the test object and the characteristic remain the same, but the time factor is taken into account. As can be seen in the example on the right, the characteristic was measured several times at a point in time 1, resulting in the distribution of the measured values as shown here. The measurements were repeated at a different time, for example, several days, weeks or months later. At this time, there is a different distribution of the measured values than in the first measurements. As can be seen, for example, the mean value xg bar of the second measurements deviates from that of the first measurements to the left. A deviation of the mean value compared to the two previous measurements can also be observed in the further measurements at a third point in time. These results from different points in time make it clear to what extent the measuring system is able to retain its properties 
over a longer period of time. The property of stability of a measurement system is therefore another factor that influences the measurement error. Now let's move from stability to linearity. Linearity means the systematic measurement error over a defined measurement range. For example, as shown on the right, the systematic measurement error can be determined for a measurement that was done at the lower specification limit, LSL, and also for a measurement that was done at the upper specification limit, USL, with further measuring points a trend line can be drawn. In the diagram shown here, the y-axis is scaled for the mean xg bar of the measured values. The x-axis is scaled for the reference value, that is, the true value of a characteristic. If the mean value from a group of repeated measurements is always equal to the reference values, then the straight dash line results. This would mean that there is no systematic error in the measurement. However, if the mean value from the groups of repeated measurements deviates from the reference value, then there is a systematic measurement error. The magnitude of this systematic measurement error is represented by the distance between the mean value marked here by an X and the dashed ideal line. With a few measuring points, this blue line here can be drawn. This blue line is a description of how linear the measurement system is over a given measurement range. Well, that was a lot of new information. Therefore, I would like to conclude by repeating the five most important key messages. The reference value, xm, is the true value of the part characteristic to be measured. This would be obtained with an ideal measuring instrument. All further measurements are compared with this reference value. The mean value, xg bar, results from repeatedly measuring the same characteristic with the same measuring instrument. The systematic measurement error is the difference between the mean value, xg bar, and the reference value, xm. The distribution of measured values can vary in terms of spread and location, stability and linearity. If you found this lesson helpful, please let me know and leave a comment. Thank you for that, take care and see you next time. Bye.